So we are here today to talk about how to use databases. Depending on what your topic is, you have three different options to choose from. Either way, you can use Research in Context or Kids Info Bits. Those are our general use reference databases. They have information about all kinds of things. And then if you're going to be doing a disease, you would use Science in Context. And if you're doing a famous person, you would use Biography in Context. Um, all of these work pretty much the same way, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to use Research in Context. Once you're on the database, you want to come up here to the top and type what you're looking for into the search bar. Notice it comes up with a search suggestion. I'm going to take it because these databases have something called topic pages, and that contains all the information it has on that specific person or subject. This is their topic page on Helen Keller, and you can see that it has this nice article up at the top that it gives us all the general information about her life. And then if you scroll down, you can see we have some other stuff as well. You want to make sure you look at these little green dots. These tell us how difficult an article is going to be. So if I'm looking for a reference article, I could click on this and see all the reference articles they had. Notice these two are green dots. That means they're pretty easy to read. This one is yellow. That means it's intermediate. That means it's a little more difficult. So you may want to think about that when you're deciding which resources to use. I look at these and I think, you know what, I'm going to start with something basic. So I'm going to come back over here to my topic page and I'm going to go with their featured article. Um, once I'm here, what I want, I want to do a few things. I'll check the green dot. That's pretty easy to read. That's good. I'm going to skim the page. This looks like it has a lot of information and it looks like it pretty much covers a lot of her life. So I'm going to start with this one. I think I definitely want it. I can pull the information that I want, take notes. I can also send it to my Google Drive. That means that I will not have to research it if I decide I want to find something else in it. It will just be saved in my drive for me to use when I need to. The last thing I want to do is come down here to where it says source citation. Since I'm going to be using this, I want to make sure I copy this down or cut and paste it somewhere so that I have it for later when I am putting together my works cited page. So this is the Research in Context database. This is science in context. If you are doing a um, disease, this is what you would get. As you can see, it's pretty much the same thing, only instead of biographies, we just have featured content. That's articles that I think are interesting or important or very relevant to the topic. If you click on them, you can see that we do have some more difficult articles. So you want to be careful when you're looking at them. Use the title of the article to help you decide and use these little content levels to help you decide what you which ones you want to try to use for your paper.